Hello YouTube, this is Dakima2 from Dodge of the Mall. And in today's semi-trans tutorial, we're gonna be connecting industries in the game with one another. So for instance, you might have an electronics factory that needs to have parts from a glass factory, or you might have a shirt factory that needs parts from a cotton factory. And so we're going to be handling that today. Another thing that we're going to do is handle overcrowding at some of our bus stations that we established in the last tutorial. So we're gonna be doing that as well. So first off, how about we start off with the overcrowding issue that I talked about in the last tutorial. Now in the last tutorial we had stops in Truro that were actually getting overcrowded. So like the City Hall stop, we had 30 passengers out of 32. It's getting pretty crowded there. So what we probably need to do is expand the capacity of the station. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a bus stop that we can upgrade it with. And the stop that we started off with was the 32 passenger capacity station. And we're gonna move up to the 64 passenger bus stop. So let's do that. And as you can see right now, Truro is actually getting somewhat crowded here. As you can see that it turns from green to orange. So let's upgrade it now. You just click on the station and there you go. And we're gonna do this with all the stations now because I assume that they're gonna be crowded here. So there, 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 and there. Another thing that you can do with stations is you can actually extend them outward. So for instance, if you wanna make this station here a bit bigger, you can build right next to that, just like that. And there you go. So now this station is a 128 passenger station and only 11 passengers waiting. So it's pretty thinned out here. Okay, so now we've handled overcrowding. Now we're gonna look at industries in the game. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to lists here, and we're gonna look at the factory list. And what we're gonna do is connect a couple industries here. So let's take a look at what we're gonna connect. So I think that we're gonna go to a cotton plantation here. Yes, a cotton plantation. And we're gonna see what its consumers are. So, the, as you can see here, the consumers are the textile factories and we're gonna have to determine how far away they are from one another. So let's close out our road tools and lists and pull up our map. So let's keep in mind where this plantation is. Now let's click on the textile factory. Oh. So we need to judge the distance of how far away they are. Okay, so now the textile factories are listed in order of how far they are from the cotton plantation. So we're going to start with the closest textile factory here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a highway that links the textile factory to the cotton plantation. And to do this, we're going to use a dirt road because dirt roads are the cheapest type of road in the game. Now to connect the two, what we're going to do is we're going to go into road tools. We're going to choose dirt road and now let me just warn you right now that dirt roads are also the slowest type of road in the game as well as the cheapest. So keep that in mind. If you have more money and you're willing to spend more, then you can always choose a street, you can choose an asphalted street, you can choose a highway, you can choose a freeway, you can choose, well no, these, these, these are all your road types right here. So keep that in mind, but we're gonna use a dirt road here because it's the cheapest at only 260 a piece. So let's do that here. Now, here we are, we're building our first road in the game. By clicking, you establish the little excavator icon that you'll see here and click another point to establish the road. And there you go. Now we can't see the road right now that we're working with. So what we're gonna do to make the trees disappear is we're gonna go to options, display, and we're gonna do hide trees here. And there you go. So let's build our road. So that took quite a bit of cash. Just keep in mind that you're gonna be spending quite a bit of money here, but in the end, you're gonna have a functional road that links the textile factory to the cotton plantation. So let's zoom out here. And we need to have an idea of where we're going. The textile factory is up here. 
and this is the cotton plantation. So we're going to start building a northeasterly road, just like that. Just click over there and it starts to spin. So I've built the road here from the textile factory to the cotton plantation. And what we need to do here is build a depot for trucks to get to the textile factory from the cotton plantation. So I've got this bulk truck here and we're going to buy this and use this to ferry along the cotton between the two destinations. And what we need to do is set up a depot to collect the goods from. So we're going to build a dirt road into the plantation here. And we are going to establish a loading dock so that the cotton can be picked up. And to do that, we are going to go up here to our road tools ribbon and grab a loading bay and install that. And then we're going to go over here to the textiles factory, which is right here and install a loading bay. Actually, one thing to note that this is not in the range of the cotton plantation, so we're gonna need to delete the stock here, and we're going to have to build a road going into it from over here. Just like that. We're gonna extend this. And there we go. So now what we do is we're going to go into the garage here and we're going to create a new schedule for this truck that links it to the cotton plantation. And and then to the textile factory yard. What we're going to do now is make sure that the minimum load from the cotton plantation yard is 50% of material. And at the textile factory yard, it's going to be 50% of material as well. We're going to promote the truck to the line. And we're going to go back to the garage. And we're going to start the truck. If we fast forward here. Actually, we're going to make it go in the opposite direction. So I made a bit of a mistake here. What I did was I actually bought the wrong kind of truck. As you can see here, the cotton plantation only takes deliverables. So you need to make sure that you have the right the truck type, which is deliverables, which would be these trucks here. And so that's what we're gonna buy here. We're gonna buy a truck that takes deliverables, and that would be this one. And we're gonna use the same line we just used, which was line six and we are gonna start the truck on that line. As you can see here, cotton is being produced. And you can see here, we're already getting crowded. So we need to build more space here. Actually, we're gonna make this go to the cotton plantation. Let's delete some excess space here and we're going to use a high tile and so it's a cheap solution for storing free it's only 500 cents so let's put some of these around it So that's it for this tutorial. We've connected up our factories and we've dealt with the station overcrowding that was really starting to take a toll on the effectiveness of our bus service. In my next semi-trans tutorial, we're gonna look into railroads and terraforming to see how you can get the most out of your map. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and the main Dodge of the Mall channel for awesome gameplays by Alec and Steven. Like us on Facebook, like us on Twitter. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down.